Good morning. Happy Sunday. What's everybody doing? Well, as y'all can see, I'm clearly spreading foundation all over my face. Upholst my face. Thanks to Patrick, he said that upholst is not a word. Well, at least in the dictionary or the Bible, he kind of thought it might be old world. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was a word. I mean, like a, not a Tracy word, but a for real word. And he suggested a dictionary, a Tracy tries dictionary. And I told him Michelle is working on that. So, I mean, I don't know if she really is, but she always laughs and says she's written down the new word for the day. So, I, I mean, look, I don't know. I don't know where I come up with this stuff. Today's video, well, at least this video, I don't know if there will be a second or a third or whatever. I mean, I might just do it all day. I got my Ipsy box yesterday. I am not sponsored by Ipsy, though I would like to be if they want to sponsor me. I don't think I have enough followers for them to care about me yet. But I got this beautiful palette by Ace Beauty, and it's called Mystic Romance. Isn't that a beautiful case? Huh, yeah. And looky there, looky at those colors. Aren't those some lovely colors? So, I thought we could go through this new little palette and try some different colors. I always have to rip those plastic things off the mirrors. I really like when they come with mirrors. My dad would leave this on for the remainder of the time that he owned whatever it was that this was on. Lampshade, he would be the one to leave the plastic on. He would leave the plastic wrapping on the couch. Y'all remember back in the, was it the 70s? They used to have the plastic wrapping on the couch. Why did people do that? I remember that. Going into someone's house and the couch was just, had this thick plastic cover and they left it on all the time, which don't get me wrong, furniture is expensive. And if you spill something on that plastic, then you can just wipe it off. But you're also sitting on plastic and your legs get stuck in the summer and it's hot. I mean, come on, this is Georgia. And back then we didn't have air conditioning. So it was like 112 in the house. Ugh. Let's see what colors we're going to use. I'm going to go with uh, maybe this one first. I don't know. Let's tap that off. Tap it off, baby. Tap it off. Thank you for all your birthday wishes for my father yesterday. He's so funny. I said, after we turned off the video, I said, they want you to tell stories of like police stories. And he said, mm-mm. He will not do it. He will not do it. Now, the man can talk all day long to just people, but like to tell a story, uh, no, he don't tell stories. The only police story I know, well, I know a couple, but this one, <laughs> he was working security at a bank and he would just sit in the corner back there, you know, like you see on them TV shows. And Well, this one day, middle of summer, hotter than blue blazes, and this young man comes into the bank, and he's wearing a long trench coat. So my dad sees him walk in the door, and my dad's like, why is he wearing uh, that big trench coat? Well, that looks odd, you know? Most of police work is just keeping your eyes open and paying attention, right? So my dad walks up to him. These have colors. This is called Euphoria. And the first one was called Aura. So my dad walks up to him and says, can I help you? And the man said, the young man, he was a very young man. He looks at my dad and he says, I'm looking for the bus stop. 
And my dad says, well, son, the bus does not stop in here, so I suggest you leave. I would just like to add at this point that Cobb County did not have uh, transit buses when this happened, so there wasn't even a bus stop on the road. Back to the story. And he left, okay? Well, my dad, being the very observant police officer that he was, he steps outside and he watches him go to the parking lot next door which is where a honey baked ham was located. And the young man gets in a car, you know, cause he was waiting on a bus. And the driver of the car drives off. I don't know if you know this, but they usually try to make parking lots difficult around banks so that people can't get away quickly. So he parked next door because it had an easier exit to get out onto the highway. Well, my dad then calls in to 911 and he says, you might want to send a unit to the bank at Market Square on Canton Highway. Go ahead and have units heading that way because I would just bet that they're about to get robbed. And he told them that this young man came in wearing a trench coat and gave them the description of the man and the car and what direction he was heading. And he went through the traffic light on up to where this second bank was located. Well, y'all, sure enough, the police get the silent alarm that they're being robbed because that bank didn't have a security guard or a police officer. Dad wasn't a security guard. He was a police officer. The young men jump back in their car and then they take off. And since the police were already heading that way and they knew the description of the vehicle, then they saw them coming back down the highway and turning, and they got in a pursuit behind them. This color is t temptress, temptress. Let's be tempted with temptress. I'm just playing, y'all. I have no idea. I'm not a makeup expert. Anyway, the, what do you call it? The thingy thing, mm, the thing that explodes with ink. Is it called an ink bomb? I don't think that's what it's called. Anyway, that thing exploded everywhere and they ended up throwing the money bag out of the car. Anyway, they were caught. So the bank that my dad worked for um, gave him a check for $500 or something because it, he essentially kept the bank from being robbed, so. Isn't that a cool story? But I think I probably only know that story because they had a big to-do and invited mom to the bank uh, to present dad with the check and say thank you to him for uh, basically doing his job. But my dad's not a person who just tells stories about his days as being a police officer. He just don't do it. I'm not sure if I like that. <laughs> there are military men who will not tell you stories of when they were in the military. And there are police officers who will not tell you stories about when they were a police officer. Mm, this is really good because it's, yeah, it's like set for life, you know? <laughs> Well, I didn't intend on it to be quite this bold on a Sunday morning. <laughs> okay, alrighty, let's see what we can do here. I'm out of makeup wipes, so let's just do that. That's a lot. <laughs> uh! Oh great, now I've got it all over me. This is not going as planned. We'll just rub more foundation on it to get it off of our face. I mean, that's getting better. It just needed to calm down a little bit. Uh-huh, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, I don't know. I just like playing with makeup, you know? Playing with different colors and seeing what it's gonna look like. 
You win some, you lose some, and some get rained out, and I believe this got rained out at least those colors. But you know what? I'm just gonna leave it because I don't care. The other thing they sent me is Cosmic Blush. It's a liquid blush. Oh, gotta have my glasses for this one. Mercury Moves. <laughs> and it, yeah, like I said, it's a liquid. Wait a minute, is this blush? It says blush. <laughs> How do I use this? Do I just do it like that? Is that, is that what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> what am I doing here? Oh, okay. It do be feeling good, and I like how it's kind of rubbing in. On the Ipsy thing, you, you do get to pick out a couple of items that you want. They'll send you all these choices, this or this, or pick one of these, and blah, blah, blah. So I did pick this because I wanted to try it because, you know, sometimes uh, powder on a person's face who is older than 12 kind of settles in lines and wrinkles. Okay, maybe not 12. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little. All right, well, I mean, I kind of like it. It's light and feels good. I don't know about this. It'll be all right. It will be all right, y'all. Wasn't a good combo. This cleans up stray hairs. You can get it at any drugstore. They're usually close to the checkout. <laughs> you can probably order them on Amazon. What are they called? I don't know. There's, let's see, is there a name on the bottom? Flawless Brows. It's very hard to read because it's almost the same color. Yeah, so I like to use it too clean it up because I do not like plucking. I do not. It's, it's very painful. I also do not like that pink. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's good because it's really staying on. <laughs> it has some staying power, okay? Sheesh. Now let's put on some of this. And that's flesh-toned Eyeliner by Tarte is just supposed to help brighten up your eyeballs. And for all the people that don't like makeup, that's fine. But I do. And whether I need it or not is not the case because I just like wearing it. I like dabbling in all the different colors. The other two things, or three things, they sent this. It's by Context. Why can't I see? Ugh. And the color is Say Love Liquid Lacquer. Now, what I don't like about it, I tried it on yesterday. It dries matte. It feels really good going on. Mm -hmm. It's a great color. But then it dries matte. And I don't like matte because I feel like it makes my eyeballs look, I mean my eyeballs, goodness, makes my mouth look all dry. How dry I am. The other two things they sent, goodness gracious with the glasses. This is Malin and Goat's Recovery Treatment Oil. See it's drying. Mm. Um, our fast absorbing treatment is formulated with a blend of nine antioxidant rituals that nourish and hydrate to help address the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, got that? And they also sent this. It has gold flecks in it. Look how beautiful it is. Hold it up to the camera so they can see how beautiful it is, okay? And it says Dallas and James Skincare Company Watermelon Dream Clarity Serum. We can just pores balance a barrier for glowing skin. I don't know. I just put it on under my makeup. See how that dries? I mean, it doesn't really come off, but it just, I don't know. I don't like dry. I don't like, I mean, my, I don't like it. But it, it does stay on pretty well. Yeah. 
it do be staying on pretty well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I don't like that. You win some, you lose some, some get rained out. Yeah. That one got rained out. I don't like it. I, I'm more of a chapstick and gloss kind of girl. I don't like a lot. And then we have some mascara that needs to go on. What is this? This is last month's Ipsy Bag Mascara XXL Radial. It's ipsyipsy.com. They have an app if you would like to sign up. Again, I'm not, I don't get anything for telling y'all this. I just, I just tell you things I like and what, you know, you know. Let's do a little more of that because maybe it's the bright light of this, but I can't see it. Well, I'm looking in my regular mirror with my weird yellow lights and I still can't see it. So, but boy, we can see that eyeshadow, can't we? Ah! All right. Um, yeah, I'll be back. All right. Here we are several hours later and it's still hanging on. <laughs> the pink is still hanging on. Oh, uh, that is some, oh, and I think it's getting under my eye now. That's nice. And I did put on my, you know, the primer that's supposed to keep it from doing that. But I believe we do have, yeah, whatever. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Penelope's right here. She's good. Gracie's over there. She's good. Did y'all see the videos of Gracie and Penelope at the end of yesterday's video? Because nobody mentioned them. I was just wondering if y'all hung on for that long. Because it was actually after I said my, my outro, my goodbye spiel. So, anyway, that, I mean, it's fine if you didn't, but they did have some videos on there. I was, it was a test to see if you watched it that far. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. Hope he's coming back soon, because these people be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which will be tomorrow, good Lord willing. And the creep don't rise, because I post every day, okay? All right. Love you, mean it. Toodles, my noodles. Goodbye.